Hey guys, what's going on? Oh, no, 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 no. What's good, guys? Man, yeah, it's sure been a long time. I said I was going to post soon when I said part three was going to be out, but I didn't. I had some other unexpected things coming up. So, but now it's here now. It's here now. Part three, Airbending tutorial. We're going to get this set up and going right now now so I'm here and back again and I have a lot of, well quite a few things that I have to tell you guys to show you guys and all that stuff to direct you guys and what how to uh, direct more power and all that stuff and I'm going to be explaining it and I'll explain as much as your questions as the best as I can but like I said, you know, put in the comments, and I'll see them. If I don't see them on a on a day of, I will sure see them uh, sometime when I get a chance. But I did read a comment that saying, "Oh hey, can you do a like or like a push like a harder object?" Well, I have the penny. You guys saw that in the first video. Now I have the the dominoes. I have three of them here. It's all like that. So, yeah. Um, somewhat a little complicated because it's surface. Uh, and it takes a lot of air and so like that to actually knock this down and stuff. But it does go down. <laughs> and then I have pieces of torn napkin that's here. And small little piece of folded paper. And yeah, we're going to sure get started to that now. Now another thing I want you guys to know, I want you guys to know this, that I do not have anything on my sleeves at all. Nothing, none of that. Nothing up my sleeves, in the sleeve, on my wrist, whatever. Nothing, no, no rings on my hand. No technology or anything like that. No t type of tech that can uh, cheat my way or anything like that. So I'm trying to make sure you guys can get the message that this is really legit. So, we're going to start with uh, a penny. Now, of course, I have to stack these. Well, not stack them, but I have to put them together because of the cloth that's here. It keeps, it, it keeps knocking down the penny on its own. Well, it just makes it harder for it to uh, stand up. So I have the dominoes here. It's able to keep it standing because it needs to be standing on a hard surface. I'll also be explaining more types of ranges that I can do as far as how you can do them and how to put more power into any type of range you can do and so like that into your limited range. So the penny. This is obviously the easiest because of how thin it is. Uh, its surface, it cannot, it doesn't stand so sturdy like a domino and so like that. But it still stands just enough so that it can stand. But the thing is, will it be knocked down? The answer to that is yes, it will. Oops, kind of blew some napkins and all that stuff. <laughs> but uh, yeah. So yeah, that's the penny. The penny has been knocked down. And I'm going to be showing you guys how satisfying it is to actually use, like, to use your napkins as, tar as a target. That's what that practice is. So. Because the napkins and so like that, they're thin, so thin and light that they actually, you can, you, you just be able to have fun with it. It floats and all that stuff. I did read a comment saying that, uh, about making things float. And right now, the only thing I can make float is paper. Something that's paper. A piece of napkin. Or this. Um, I'll show you this right now. Because this is a harder fabric than a piece of napkin. 
but it does do what I want it to do. Now you can see it right here, let swipe that. It may vanish really, like, not vanish, vanish, no, hold on, no. Now you see it, now you don't, no. <laughs> but, um, so, uh, yeah. Right here, piece of net, piece of paper folded with, with a little writing on it, you know, or scribble doodle. Now, let's do this. So, like I said, you want to make sure you have your breath. You must breathe. Your energy comes from your your breath and everything around you. So, you have to breathe. You have to take in the oxygen. You know, and when you do it, when you inhale, make sure you have your energy, your back is straight, your back, you must have a good posture, and so like that, you, uh, your legs have to be bent a little bit, and so like that, and then you thrust your hips, you know, like you're throwing a punch, that's where your punch comes in, from the ground up to your waist, and so like that, you know, but, um, now here we go. Uh, yep, that's exactly what it's supposed to do. <laughs> that. Exactly that. Oh, snap. I made that one go a little too far. <laughs> off the table into the chair and now piece of napkin down this way is so satisfying to do a piece of napkin just like that you can literally make it float and levitate and all that stuff you know pick it up uh, another way I can do it is this way you know just make it float there you go. Now I'm not blowing with my mouth. You would see, you would hear it, and you would see it. Because I would have to really try. And even if I do blow, it will keep it grounded. You know? Because I'm up here in the wind. So yeah. So I have to like kind of pick it up like I'm picking something up. It's really not, not, not that easy to get on your first, first try, but it does work. Hmm. There we go. There we go. I know you guys saw that. <laughs> but that's how it's done and stuff like that. And, you know. So, the thing is, with range and stuff like that, you want to make sure your arm stays close to you and not all the way here. Because you're just losing your energy. You're just slowing it down. You're not getting anything. You want to keep it close to you because your pushing has to be straight. That's why like that, your elbow, everything from your shoulder to here, and then just doing that and pushing. You don't want to do this either where your arm comes over because one, well, you're just. Limiting your force and your power. Two, you might hit yourself in the face doing that. <laughs> and, yeah. And three, well, you're stopping yourself from moving and thrusting and stuff like that. Therefore, that falls back to one. You're limiting your power. You're not putting a lot of your power in it. So, yes. The different hand placements you can do, you can either close your hands 
like this, and you can see the results. You can uh, spread your fingers. What I like to do, I kind of like to spread them a little bit. You know? And then, another thing you can do is that you can like do this. You can literally keep your hand like this sideways. You can, like I say, you can do this. Spread them like that. But you can keep it sideways. And that way it actually aligns exactly where you want it to go. So, just like that. And also, you know, the most effective one is where you cup it. That's why that when it's cupped like this and stuff, you're actually being a lot of force. And it's capturing, you know, all that. So basically just... Then <laughs> I actually flew all the way right there to the whole camera part. That was pretty amazing. But yeah, but along with everything, you know. Yeah. And then this is my favorite to do with the napkins and other things. Just, just like that. In this case, you want to keep your hands as loose as possible. And then you want to like, when you keep them loose, you want to like keep the motion like this. Because then it acts as if it's a constant wind. And the constant wind that blows, it's able to keep pushing and pushing and stuff. And then, but the main stuff that I'm doing it's mainly like, think of it like you're doing gusts of wind, just like, you know? And then the constant wind, it's just pushing, just like that, you know, all the way and it rolls off. And it's amazing. Another piece we have is we have a domino. We're going to do a domino here. <laughs> now, I may not get this on the first try, but I can do it. I can sure knock it down. But just follow the same exact exact steps, and you get down. And you may get down the first attempt. <laughs> Move. You also want to make sure your feet placement is really well. I'm still working on that myself because your feet have to be shifty and moving with your body as well. You don't want because if you if your foot stays stuck and you kind of like move forward, then you're gonna limit your your power. And stuff. So, you know, and you have no control in, in your power of what you're doing. So you must have control. Yeah. I know. Hold on. There we go. Especially since it's like a thinner object and it's standing like that, most of your most of your hand is kind of blocking. So most of the, the wind power is actually coming from your fingertips and stuff. Because other than that, you're just doing this, and the, finger, the, the wind is not having any type of uh, time to travel to space out more. So you need, it needs to be more spaced out. Now, do this again. You can try different ways, like I said, I'm going to try it sideways. Way easier. Like I said, it comes from your fingertips, and if, if you keep them close together, the more. And like I said, you can even do it when I had demonstrated in the first video. Test it yourself. Test, test it on your hands to feel, see how it feels. You know. And then, you know, I realized another way you can test it to say like if you're facing something like something complicated, if you're doing like facing something like that. You can also take an object like this and stuff, and you can just have fun with it, you know, playing around with it. And you can test how you see how things react and stuff like that. You can test how much force you need to use. And you can test it on your hand, you know? You can try different ways and stuff. Oops. <laughs> but, um, yeah. 
try different ways. Just, just, you know, you can play with it just like that. It's very satisfying. That's just the thing you can do. So that's satisfying. So yeah, like I said, if you have any more questions, please comment. Um, let me know if you have any problems, if you need any help, or anything like that. I can try to explain the best as I can. Um, I do like the jokes that are in there. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Uh, thank you guys for your support, subscri uh, subscribers, and the likes, and the comments. I appreciate everything. Um, I'm glad to actually finally get this video out, because I know you guys have been asking, and you guys have been asking for a while. When is part three gonna come out? When is part three gonna come out? So uh, yeah, finally got it out. So you're welcome. <laughs> but uh, yeah, and uh, but uh, before I do a uh, tune off of this uh, video right here, I'm just gonna show you guys something just like this. I'm just gonna show you guys some more what you guys can do, especially with two hands. You know, you can just play with it like this. Most of the stuff, you just have more power into it. And so like that. You know. Uh, mostly, like I like to call things when I do all of this stuff like that. Instead of like this. And then when I just do that, or like that. I like to just play around with like, oh, I have the Jedi power, the force. No? <laughs> but uh, yeah. And here's another thing that you can do. To make things to react faster and something like that, like you do have the powers of the force of a Jedi, then you just want to make sure your hand is stern, kind of like want to squeeze, like, you know, pay a little tension in your hand a little bit, and you just kind of have to force and flick everything, like your whole, like, you'll see. Like, you just have to, like, be more de demanding, like, a little bit, you know, just like, like that. This is what you gotta do. So, <laughs> it's really fun and satisfying with the pieces and that. Pieces. Sometimes I like to make sound effects, which is pretty kind of annoying a little bit, but <laughs> you know, especially when you watch a lot of Star Wars. And to be honest with you, I haven't been really watching a lot of Star Wars. Not ever. Like, I only watched, like, like, one or two of them. And so like that. Maybe three. And I only, like, watch, like, every once a blue moon. <laughs> I'm trying to get back into it. Uh, I'm trying to finish all of them. You know, just to see the whole, whole Star Wars and so like that. But, uh, yeah. You know. You want to be more demanding with it, direct your energy, power. Like I said, breathing still, and just do that, and stuff, and then you can just be like this, go over there. <laughs> it's, it's just all you gotta, you want to do, just like, go over there, get over there. Another person had a question about how to make it like drag forward. Which I'm going to actually show you guys that right now. You want to mainly place it at the edge where it usually works. And so like that is how I came up with it until you guys can figure out something else that you guys can do to make it come to you. But this is what I have so far. So you want to just like do something like that, you know. Well, but you want to at the same time kind of, like I said, flex your hand like using the force. And so like that. That's why I said there's like different methods to this, you know. But this, in this case, the force way. So, so it's kind of dancing around a little bit. You can use two hats too. Okay, I made it float, float up in the air, and that's what you guys want too. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it still came. But it, you know, it still it still does what it what I wanted to do. It still moves. There we go. Got it. <laughs> and you can see if you can do it. Piece of napkin. There we go. Get over here. 
是那。<笑>哎 ，it floated。Well, yeah, <laughs> I'm a little tired. So yeah, another thing: make sure you guys eat and you know do exercises too and stuff、so、like that. Make sure your cardio is good. Meditate and all that stuff, and it'll come out even more stronger, <laughs> with better results, more effective, and all that stuff. So yeah, thank you guys very much for your、uh, <clears throat> support and all that stuff. Thank you guys、uh, for the subscriptions, the likes, the comments. I'm enjoying your comments. They're very funny,、um, very informative. And thank you guys for your questions and all that stuff. But yeah, and that's pretty much it.